In this video, we hear Jaguar responding to TJ's live. I don't know why she tapped into TJ's live and got her blood pressure all worked up. This, these are uh, two videos compiled. The first one is Jaguar saying she has gotten over TJ and she is going to move on with Johnny Two Stick or whatever the man's name is, the nickname that she gave them. The second part of this video has to do with her not getting over TJ. She's sitting there watching her live and getting her blood pressure all worked up. Now let's get into it. But before we do, like, share, and subscribe to my video and this channel. And thank you in advance. My meetings today, I got a lot, a lot of things to do. And it's weird because uh, don't forget to smash that like button on the way in or on the way out, either one. Um, so I put up a post this morning. And it's just really funny because... There was like this long comment about mental health and watching me just, you know, spiral out of control and oh my God. And I'm like, wow, off of a link post. Wow. Man. I'm waking up. I'm having a great morning. I'm having a great morning. And I get a long paragraph about my mental health and how I'm spiraling out. Because I'm looking at one of the most beautiful things I've seen on here. I'm happy about it. That it's there to meet me, to greet me in the morning. And that makes me crazy. The definition of insanity is to keep just doing the same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. How many times do you maniacs have to come over here to this page spouting your, your mental health? concerns for me what? and then all the lies let's address I never said I had COVID I find that very interesting because some people are saying Jaguar phoned into the court and said she had COVID and was given a new court date that was the first court hearing that she skipped. So I don't know how true any of it is. I don't know if she called into the court or if she did not. To now Jaguar is saying she never said she had COVID. I never said I had COVID. I never told anyone I had COVID. Matter of fact, I haven't said I had anything other than a sinus attack. Good morning, Sandra. Thank you for the happiness on me too. That was the whole purpose of my point. See, the morning that I had today, I chose that morning. It wasn't selected for me. It wasn't someone that was in my life that was corrupted. It wasn't someone that was handpicked to sabotage me. It was someone who I met. One of those lightning in a bottle moments. It's really simple. Just happiness. Being with that person makes me happy. It's good. So you should try it. Choosing something that makes you happy. Because the one thing that I really haven't been in, I don't know, about 10 months. I've been happy with certain things. I've had happy moments with my family, but great moments with Sam, watching Sam get baptized at the top of this year before all hell broke loose. Amazing. Um, selecting the house that we were supposed to move into before I was arrested. Um, yeah, really great moments. But Personally, in my personal life, I haven't had too many, you know. Not too many. You know, I I'm still married to a man that chose to be corrupted um, and turn against me because I decided I wasn't going to keep covering up for him and his mania. But I'm the crazy person. 
eight different medications I showed y'all. I'm the crazy person. Got it. It's funny how y'all want me to be crazy so bad. Jaguar keeps saying over and over that she is not crazy. You guys want her to be crazy. But I'm here to remind Jaguar about the airport incident, her calling the mayor's office, her calling the cops, her cussing out the cops at the police station. All of that, my dear, signify that something is wrong mentally. We're not calling you crazy. Your actions shows us that something is wrong mentally. I know there are those of you out there that are saying, speak for yourself, Carib Gold. That woman is cray cray. But listen, I'm not saying that she's cray cray. I'm just saying something's wrong mentally based on all the antics she did in the past. Throwing ashes, her son's ashes, on people in front of the barber shop. Rubbing ashes on her face. And admit to smoking some of her son's ashes. All those things, Jaguar, makes us believe that something is wrong mentally. And the minute or the moment you admit it, that would be the first step in your healing process. Never said I had COVID. Never been tested for COVID. So Jaguar said she's never been tested for COVID. So you might be another incubator. There are some people out there who have COVID and don't have symptoms. They're asymptomatic, but they walk around passing it on and giving it to other people. A, a, a love gift, if you will. A gift that keeps on giving, like Typhoid Mary. All right? She walked around with typhoid and passed it on from person to person. You might be one of those people. You said you've never been tested for COVID when it's pretty much all over the world that people are being tested to see if they have COVID. And if they have it, then they're being treated for it. But you say you've never been tested. There are people who don't believe in getting any tests for COVID because they think it's this great conspiracy. So maybe Jaguar is one of those people. I'm not going to knock her for it. I'm just saying that you could be incubating COVID virus and passing it on to other people. Who knows? I never said that, but all the struggle channels did. But for the first comment to be a paragraph this long about my mental health, and then all the lies, what I can say is, is that someone did call my lawyer saying that they were my bondholder, and they asked if I had come to court. And my lawyer said yes, and that was it. There was no other discussion about it any else. The lies. And someone did call the clerk's office. Fishing for a warrant. Fishing for information. Um, we're doing in the t-shirt line. Um, since the other people who were supposed to be giving people t-shirts never gave them to them. We're actually going to produce some. Another promise about donors getting t-shirt. I wish they wouldn't promise anything. Because people who truly support Jaguar are being promised these things and then they don't get it. And then they are disappointed once again. So I wish they wouldn't promise anything. And that includes Jaguar. She shouldn't be promising at this point because every promise that she have made, almost every promise, have fallen by the wayside. And we're going to do a raffle for some autographs. Um... And all proceeds from the t-shirt will be raising money to produce the donor's concert. The free donor's concert. Because I'm still focused on that part. I'm still interested in accomplishing that. Apparently everybody else is off on something else. No t-shirts, no concerts. It's just, you know. We don't care about the donors. Um, but I do. And. Yeah, like. If you gotta take the time to try to diagnose someone without a law degree or without a medical degree or without, I don't know. Like all these YouTube social workers are interesting. Very interesting. 
keep your mental health comments to yourself. If you come through here talking about mental health, again, you will be blocked. You will be banned. That is it. If you come through here talking about people that are no longer relevant in my life, you will be blocked. You will be banned. That's it. Jaguar should have taken the time to just be by herself and get into her own self. You know, when you leave a relationship, you don't just jump into another one, folks. You always take the time to reflect, to get yourself together, just to be apart from people for a while before you jump into another relationship because you start working on the breakup and you don't want that person to be the rebound person. Because you're still thinking about the old relationship a lot of times. And so you want to clear your head with that and not bring that excess baggage into the new relationship. So I felt and I feel that Jaguar should have been by herself for a while and not introduce this Johnny popcorn into her life. Not as yet anyway. They could have been friends, but just not an intimate relationship. Not right away. And that goes for everybody out there. When you jump from one relationship, don't jump to the next. Take the time to yourself to get you together, to clear your head of that individual. Because she jumped so quick into this new relationship with Johnny Popcorn, it looks like if this guy was in the waiting wings. It looks like if he was waiting for a breakup to happen so he can jump right in. And it even looks like if she was maybe seeing him on the side while she was with TJ because there's like an overlapping of the relationships because one minute TJ was in a hotel and they said they broke up and the next minute Jaguar was talking about Johnny Popcorn. It, it was like a day, just like one day and she was talking about this guy. So it looks like if there was an overlapping, like if she jumped from, truly jumped from one relationship to the next, like a day away. And that you don't want to do. You want to give yourself time to get over the last relationship. This is why Jaguar is so salty about TJ, because she's still trying to get over that relationship, and yet she has jumped into another one. You don't ever want to do that, because you're going to bring the old baggage from the old relationship into the new relationship. I'm all in. I'm all in on this one. All in on this one. And I can't wait to see where it's going to go. As soon as I get a couple extra dollars, I agree to get this cut up. It's time to move on. It's just time. It's time, it's time to move on. I made promises, which I am keeping. I'm, I'm not working on or trying to I am keeping I quit smoking quit smoking um because he wants to kiss me when I was smoking I was smoke all over my breath and I want that yes yeah, so I, I quit smoking yesterday it's about to be 24 hours he's not a smoker so here's the thing folks I am very happy for Jaguar that she's Quit smoking, but you don't quit smoking for someone else. You quit it because you really want to. She quit smoking because I guess this guy is complaining. Whenever he kisses her, he smells the smoke on her breath. That's why she quit smoking. That's not a reason to quit. You must want it for yourself and mainly for health reasons. He's a very healthy person, and I'm really looking forward to having that in my life. Um... You know, when you're embarking on something new and you get involved with someone who is, like, really healthy and treats their body like a temple, um, it reminds you to do the same. I mean, the truth is, is I was smoking a lot more in that last situation that I was in because that person smoked so much. Um, and when you're a smoker, if you're around someone that's smoking all the time, you tend to smoke a little bit more. I love to kiss. I do. Kissing is one of my favorite things. I don't put my lips on everybody. I don't. Number one, who's jumping 
from anything to anything. Number two, whatever I choose to do with my life and my time is my choice. I, I don't understand why people think that their opinions are relevant in other people's lives. So then Jaguar said she's going to be striking everybody's channel who put out a false narrative about her, her lawyer, the channel is coming down. But we've heard that before. So we're going to see what she does. So that was the end of video number one, where Jaguar was very happy talking about Johnny Popcorn and some of the things she wants to do and who she's going to block and who she's not going to block, setting the standard for her channel. In this next video, she's very upset at TJ because she's looking at one of TJ's videos and she's reacting to what TJ is saying. Fake jags everywhere, but you think it's me? I'm desperate you are. You want to sit here pump faking like some shit is really going while you're sitting here arguing with a fake jag. Like, <laughs> don't nobody give out any bitch. She live, all right. Good. Let her start one. Leave me alone. That's all I'm Nobody bothering you, bitch. You sitting here home. over here pretending like you're talking to me. It's the fake jag, you dumb bitch. Yeah. So guys, the previous video, Jaguar talked about moving on with Johnny Popcorn and she's leaving that old relationship, which is TJ behind. In this video, which just came out a couple of hours ago, she's looking at one of TJ's video. If she had moved on, if she had really moved on, why is she looking at TJ's video and commentating on it? Don't ask me, you heard it. If I'm stopping you, show the call loves of me calling you. Please do. So TJ's thinking she's talking to the real Jaguar. And she's pleading to Jaguar to stop calling her. And Jaguar is cussing and fighting with herself and, and fuming that it's not her. Everybody that's going around like Kimmy, Kimmy heard the phone calls. My issue with Kimmy is that you lied to me in Jesus' name. Now you're going to lie, you can put Jesus in it. Jesus she's the goofiest bitch. Baltimore should be ashamed. This is the kind of bitch y'all produce. And this is what I was talking about, folks, from the last video to this video, which was only a couple of hours away. One video, she was calm, saying that she had moved on with Johnny Popcorn. And the next video, she's blowing up and cussing and fighting. If Jaguar had truly moved on, she wouldn't have been in her raw emotion, in her feelings. That's what I was talking about. You got to take the time to yourself to get over the past relationship before you move on to the next. The drama stuff just can't. Yo, I threw it. It was fast. Like, I had one day. And I should have known better. Everybody was telling me, like, she ain't going to leave you alone. She ain't going to leave you alone. I'm like, well, oh, it's been a day. It's, it's been a day. You hear this thirsty ass shit, yo? You feel me? This clown and bitch. It started last night. And I didn't understand where it came from because if you moved on... The fake and Jag. You sit up here talking to fake Jag. I'm sitting here worried about my life trying to eat my dinner. And I'm getting cold. Yo, are you in her check? Are you in her check? No, I ain't in that bitch check. And he was, he ain't want to deal with her like that. If I would be willing to do that would be a roommate. No, absolutely not. Like, girl, leave me alone. Leave me alone. 
Just leave me alone. Where the fake Jag at? The fake Jag ain't in the chat no more? Now that I went live? She is. Every last person in the chat. If my mind was around, if my mind was around, I want y'all to catalog everybody on her chat. They're all getting blocked immediately. Please stop. Just leave me alone. Kimmy, you should be ashamed of yourself. Kimmy, you said you ain't a content creator. But I get on this bitch and, and I you talking on the panel. I'm a content creator now. Give you all the money. I will run all the mods up. Every last single one of y'all. I'm trying to move on with my life. Take my 360 exam. What's the fake jacket that she was talking to in the chat? Exactly. They don't. They don't. Where the fake jacket at now? Now that he's alive. Where? She went live in those songs with me and they called me a bitch and all that stuff. I'd be that. I'd be with there it goes. The fake jag just popped up. I'm the real Jag. Boop, 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 boop. Somebody please screenshot that immediately. You lining your minds up for something they don't want. So y'all need to keep my name out of your mouth. What you need to be worried about is your son, Jordan, potentially going to jail for unaliving someone. That's what you need to be worried about while that person is on bond. I'm the Scorpio that I'm in. Everybody want to tell me to chill. My throat is healing. Just, just leave me alone. Attention seeking. No, I'm not on that live. I'm telling everybody, I'm sitting here. I'm sitting here with y'all. And the fake jag just popped up in the chat. No, I am not. You can see in my face when I do my videos. I'm not with this lady. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if they created a bot so that they could pretend like I was antagonizing her on purpose. Why aren't any of her mods checking to see if that account is mine? Because it's all a scam and a setup, that's why. I'm so this, I'm so that. Okay, leave me alone then. I hear a lot of flicking going on in Jaguar's background. I hope she's not back to smoking because it sounds as if she's so upset. She might go right back to smoking. She said she quit. And it was only one day that she quit. So I hope this does not drive her back to smoking. Oh, she playing my life. <laughs> she playing my life. I wait for the fake jag to come back. I got to wait. I already changed my handle. But, you know, she the one who put the and between the TJ. Like, my nigga, my name was TJ. She put the and in it. So, TJ is complaining that Jaguar put the and sign between the T and the J. But I think Jaguar did it really because... Although she said it was TJ's channel, the T stands for T for um, Taisha, which is TJ's real name, and the J is for Jaguar. And that's why they said it was a couple's channel. It was supposed to be a channel for TJ, but because Jaguar put in that and mm -hmm. between the T and the J, it made it a couple's channel. Ta uh, Taisha and Jaguar. So it was a sneaky move. To me, it was a sneaky move to insert herself into TJ's channel. But in the end, TJ's got her channel. And TJ's just saying, well, she put the and in between the T and the J. But that's an easy change. TJ can go right into her account and change that. Weird. Yes. Y'all did. Y'all did. Y'all did. And y'all was like, and y'all think I would want to be with an idiot like this? I'm in love. No, she didn't go be that. No, my stupid ass. I should have ran. And when I decided to run, now it's an issue. Don't nobody want you. It's an issue. Don't nobody want you. That's the issue. Nobody wants you. Not even your family cares about you. Your daughter sat there and lied to you for your money. Why you ain't in your Hilton? Why you ain't in the studio? 
If I was the one that was holding you back, why you ain't doing all that? Bullshit. Taking her back. Taking her back for what? This is slander. This is defamation on a channel that I helped up build. From this point forward, with anybody that's caught over their channel will be blocked and banned from the Jaguar Wright Johnson channel. Do you understand? It's as simple. I want nothing. Everybody watching you on TV talking to her. She's talking to herself, and I'm the idiot, right? And my mind is trash. Or whatever. You're a piece of shit. You always were and you always will be. Your mother was a crackhead who was in a married man, don't bitch. You came from you nothing, know, bitch. You came from nothing, bitch. Your mother was a crackhead who was in a married man. You really? That's what you come from, ho. I thought Jaguar said she had moved on and she will no longer mention TJ. My, my, my. How quickly we forget our words. You come from nothing. I'm done. I'm done. On you because I know the truth, G. You don't know shit. You a lying ass, hard ass bitch. Talking fake box. Wishing it was me. Does everyone understand? It is very simple. It is very plain. It is very clear. If you are caught over there in chat, I don't even know who you are. You will be blocked and banned from this platform forever. Ooh, that sounds scary, honey. I guess the people who don't want to be blocked must be shaking in their boots. Whatever they're going to do. Oh, my goodness. They can't sleep at night for fear of being blocked. Jaguar, get over yourself. Ain't nobody worried about being blocked on your channel, honey. I don't want to hear shit about a piece of shit ass with no raggedy doll in ass reds falling out of scalp every other goddamn day. Do you understand me? Now, I'm going to get back to my life. I'm going to get back to my dinner. I don't want to hear shit about this bitch ever. She is dead to me. Oh, Jaguar even came for the woman's braid. She said, I'm raggedy ass braids falling out every minute on that raggedy ass scalp. I said, Lord have mercy. Jaguar, Leave the woman's braids alone. Don't you see she got a new hairdo? She was done up. She got her hair all slicked back. It's looking better. You must admit, it's looking better. The real question is, though, if you're done with her, what the hell are you doing on her channel looking at her? If you're so done. If you're done, you need to move on and not look at her, period, and call it a day. But obviously, you're not done yet. You still want a piece of TJ. I don't know if you want a, a relationship or if you just want to cuss her out, but you still want a piece of her. Clearly, that is clear to see. And anybody that's with her is dead to me too. Good night. All of this bantering back and forth between TJ and Jaguar reminds me of that poem that Maya Angelou put out years ago. Still I rise. This is just a little piece of it, a little snippet. Still I rise. You may shoot me with your words. You may cut me with your eyes. You may kill me with your hatefulness. But still, like the air, I rise. So on that note, all I have to say is, Jaguar, stop looking at TJ's videos. You're only going to aggravate yourself if you keep looking at them. And if you truly want to move on, you will leave her where? Back there. And move forward with your Johnny Popcorn. YouTubers, I'm over and out. Don't forget to hit the like bell, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.